you know what as indians lot of times even in five stars and you see correct people tend to uh, misuse mm-hmm. as and these are homes i don't understand everyone is as very attached build some mm-hmm. very very fast mm-hmm. so log towers apne jute saaf karenge false uh, promises which has been made mm-hmm. uh, deceptive pictures correct shown uh, you know what and these are all domain maturity ke upar hoti hai ha anyway very if you can manage the cost between 3 crores to 5 crores you end up making anywhere between 4 to 8 percent yields and for the first two years we only did lunavla as a market okay. so we got all our operations processes right in lunavla so today we are about 638 homes movies mein hota na ki bangle ke aage garden garden ke aage swimming pool swimming pool ke aage you have a valley or a beach correct so these are kind of homes which we are fortunate to manage and i can assure you once someone travels in a group they will never go back to a hotel ha huh. most expensive stay with the property welcome back to the curious club podcast so in one of our previous videos we covered how restaurant and cloud kitchen industry works and we covered how business model and the unit economics work and it's not all rosy as it looks from outside so let's hop on to the another dream which every one of us share owning a luxury villa in somewhere in hills or beach side which you can use for your own vacation and additionally you can rent it out for your additional income but how does that economic works so today we have got pranav maheshwari co-founder of stevista which will help us navigate through this how this industry is working so please welcome pranav maheshwari on the show pranav welcome on the show hi sudan thanks so thank you pranav uh, for coming on the show so as traditionally uh, what we do in start is to cover the journey of our guests so what's been your journey like okay so uh, going back actually i come from a joint family background which is very similar to both for both of my partners ankita and amit too so all three of us actually come from joint family backgrounds and uh, for me specifically i have a twin brother so growing up was very interesting uh, we went to college school all together uh we were in calcutta shifted to bombay did my engineering from vgti yeah. went to my mba from excel right but during this stint uh, i had a passion to travel uh i was a consultant uh, with alsan young uh living out of a suitcase practically five days a week we used to travel yeah. and do din wapas ghar pe aate the so at that moment of time uh, and also coming from a a family which is into business so dinner and breakfast table conversation was always about ki kuch karte hain ah. kuch karna chahiye khud ko so from that perspective when i this got this opportunity to start mr which was amit and ankit actually came together we are family friends we got connected through a a common person uh, his name is siddharth latsarya ha oh, okay um, he is also a, a mentor he is my brother in law now uh um, but he was the one who got all three of us together and uh, i just plunged into it i have no background in hospitality uh but for the last 8 years we've been focusing on this domain so have been very i think it's been a very positive as well as a very different change uh, coming from a non hospitality background actually has helped us, helped us over there to do something very different so stevista started in which year So actually we started in 2015. Hmm. Uh that time the vision was very different. Actually the name of the company was Stevista Private Limited. Okay. We started as Stevista as a brand name but we shifted our brand name to Vista Rooms, correct? And this was primarily because we are doing very something similar to vision was something similar to what Oyo was doing. Hmm. The, but we were in the western southern part of the country Oyo was that time limited to the north northern part of the country. North. uh in order for us to be in the similar domain like oyo and want to get recognized as hmm. similar as humne naam we changed our name from stay vista to uh vista rooms correct to get into have that rooms concept hmm uh so that happened and then uh, over the period of years uh we we realized that business is a very difficult business budget hotel domain it is the market was fairly spoiled a hmm. uh, lot of money thrown Uh, we realized that you know for us to sustain and manage and build a actual business out of it was not possible and we did not have the luxury of a lot of capital so uh, in order the quest to do something of our own 
luckily amit and their family own a vacation home for last 3 decades hmm. and ankita and her family have been uh, staying in these uh, villas for last maybe 15 20 years all only diwalis they have been staying so we said okay let's do something in this domain the homes piece of it now uh, we got few of our homes from few of our friends and families those were the first few homes i don't know who was doing favor to whom we thought we were doing <laughs> the favor but at the end actually they did a big favor to us so we started with four homes only in lonavla hmm. and for the first two years we only did lonavla as a market Correct. so we got all our operations processes right in lonavla um all the problems which we had from bajaj hotel wasn't there over here in this market yeah. um it's a segment which is very interesting which was growing very rapidly we got a lot of requests from different parts of the country in fact we had to say no to people that we can, we're not managing homes outside lonavla yeah. and then we added alibag we added goa so almost 50 60% of our homeowners comes through reference hmm. so it's a very positive word of mouth the referral correct and in fact both on the homeowners and the guest side of it ha huh. so that's been the journey correct uh, so now how many like properties you manage like you started with four properties then grew uh now what's the numbers like so today we are about 638 homes today uh, all of these are exclusively managed homes mm-hmm. so it is as good as uh, we are the owner for the house for the guests correct so we manage the home we provide our standards we ensure that everything is spick and span uh and in order to ensure that there's a quality standard so Definitely. these are when actually people started renting these homes out back in the day through these the process was very broken it was done through local travel agent correct when ankita and the family used to go to any home they used to actually take 20% of their bombay home along with them mm. they used to carry crockery cutlery linen uh-huh. Uh-huh. cooks servants would used to go along with them so that is what is one area which we actually solve for mm. so each of our homes are fully serviced they are fully standardized uh, so every home you will have a similar experience with its own authenticity Ah, so we correct. reserve that charm of an home hmm. ah, but apne wo movies mein hota na ki bangle ke aage garden garden ke aage <laughs> swimming pool swimming pool ke aage you have a valley or a uh, beach correct so these are kind of homes which we are fortunate to manage correct so the what are your checklist of any listing any property let's say if, if anybody has his property uh, like second homes or something they want to list on stay vista what are the checklist they should consider for them to get listed on your platform Uh, so we have a almost 200 to 250 point checklist uh, wow. which we have it covers all aspects so starting from the exterior of the home yeah. um and actually starting from basic the structure correct over there so we ideally want minimum 3 to 4 rooms uh the plot size should be minimum about 10000 15000 square feet minimum okay and that build up area should be minimum 1500 to 2000 square feet uh, and and this may exceed further correct over most of our homes will be about in plot size of about 40 50000 square feet mm-hmm. build up area will be about 3000 3500 mm-hmm. in different areas of the country we have different specification correct so for example in maharashtra we have all properties with a water body so every property has a swimming pool mm-hmm. in northern part of the country it needs to have some fantastic views valleys and stuff like that and we start kashmir as a region wow. so but uh, coming back 200 to 300 point checklist starting from exteriors of, of the property Hmm. uh what are the exterior like uh what are the garden areas outdoor common spaces are very important for us so we take lot of uh focus and pride to endeavor design these common spaces hmm. over there now having so many homes we understand what works uh where do people come and spend most of their time hmm. so 80 to 90% of the time people spend is in these common spaces common areas and common amenities correct um room mein bahut kam time log rehte ha so that is important kitchen Uh, every house is well staffed with people as well as uh, in terms of crockery cutlery linen mm. so that is there lighting is very important so uh, we have almost a 200 point checks checklist divided into 100. these five or six different areas so now if someone is looking as uh, renting it out uh, what are they expecting like what kind of returns they expecting on their investment like is there something benchmark you have kept ke itna ban jayega aapka how, how does that work because If someone is renting it, उनको पता चलना चाहिए कि कितना बन सकता है हमारा as a correct. So इसमें actually दो तरीके के owners हैं. हाँ. The first ones are the ones who actually owned a home, 
एंड ये ओनिंग होम इज वेरी इमोशनल डिसीजन करेक्ट सो इज रिस्पेक्ट कर सिटी और आउटसाइड बट समन ओनिंग सेकेंड होम इज अई नेटवर्क इंडिविजुअल वन होम फॉर दम सेल्फ सो ये जो सेकेंड होम लोग क्या करते बहुत प्यार से बनाते ठीक है एंड देन वॉट हैपन ऑल ऑफ दीज बिकम कॉस्ट सेंटर्स सो फर्स्ट वन ईयर तो दिन टेक एवरी वन इट्स लाइक अ न्यू कार शू टेक एवरी वन फॉर अ राइट ठीक है बाद में क्या होता है ऑल ऑफ सडन यू ओनली यू वॉन्ट टू गो नो वन एल वॉन्ट टू गो करेक्ट इट बिकम ऑफ अ वाइट एलिफेंट एंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू मैनेज एंड देन यू आर स्टक टू दैट होम टू पे सैलरीज रिपेयर लाइट मेंटेन द प्रॉपर्टी कुछ खराब हो गया आप उसको रिपेयर करने जाते हो जाता सो फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ दैम दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम विच वी सॉल्व इज दैट कि ईच ऑफ अ होम बिकम मेंटेनेंस फ्री करेक्ट सो आपको अबाउट अ लाख टू डेढ़ लाख रुपया लगता है पर घर को पर मंथ मैनेज करने में सो द हाउ हाउस स्टार्ट स्वेटिंग फॉर इट सेल्फ सो फ्रॉम बींग अ कॉस्ट सेंटर यू बिकम अ सेल्फ सस्टेनिंग प्लस इन एडिशन यू जनरेट प्रॉफिट करेक्ट सो दैट हैपन्स सो टिपिकली अ फोर और फाइव बेड फॉर अस इन डिफरेंट रीजन डिफरेंट बट वी डू ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट टू एंड हाफ टू थ्री लाख रुपीज बिजनेस पर मंथ एवरेज पर मंथ इन विच ऑलमोस्ट यू कैन से ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इज समथिंग विच कम्स टू अस विच वी मैनेज अनदर ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी परसेंट इज अवर इज अ कॉस्ट टू मेंटेन द होम सो अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट इज गॉन इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑपरेशनल कॉस्ट करेक्ट सो आफ्टर दैट जो आपके पास बाकी रहती है अबाउट वन एंड हाफ और लैक्स वन पॉइंट टू टू वन एंड हाफ लैक रुपीज बाकी रहती है करेक्ट विच इज अ प्योर अर्निंग अर्निंग फॉर दैम एंड इन वेरिएबली और नॉट दिस अर्निंग इफ यू ग्रॉस इट अप टू अयर अबाउट एटीन टू ट्वेंटी लैक रुपीज पीपल टेन टू इन्वेस्ट इन बैक इन द प्रॉपर्टी करेक्ट सो आपकी प्रॉपर्टी बिकम सेल्फ सस्टेनेबल इट स्टार्ट अर्निंग फॉर यू करेक्ट एंड इट ऑटोमेटिकली गेट्स अपग्रेडेड एंड द बिगेस्ट वैल्यू एड इज दैट की वेन यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू द होम Hmm. you can go without considering about maintenance and other stuff correct so yield perspective uh, you make anywhere between 20 to 30 lakh rupees net hmm. so a uh, lot of our owners anywhere where if you can manage the cost between 3 crores to 5 crores hmm. you end up making anywhere between 4 to 8 percent yields wow. which is only through rentals correct and then capital appreciation is separate separate got it and I, i'm very curious to know are these like the second homes or now people are just constructing to renting out for renting yeah. out so i think is this major shift happened during covid ha uh-huh. actually covid ke pehle do cheez thi um, mm. earlier for us to was a big stigma attached to renting out homes ha uh-huh. correct you know what ha ha ki matlab aapko matlab socially aap kya bologe ha ki paise nahi hai ki ghar ko bhare pe diye ha so bahut bada stigma tha in fact after covid in fact people took lot of pride in mm. and says maybe today we are very thankful to where we are we were very happy to get associated and it's some big validation that you know what this is a vista correct ah uh, it's a stay vista home is a stay vista branded home yeah. so it adheres to some standards uh-huh. people take lot of pride hmm. maybe you know what it adds to the overall valuation of that house yeah correct was it so before covid there was a big stigma attached uh, to these homes and primarily people did not construct homes to rent it out hmm. uh but a few of them who were renting it out were making decent money about it and uh, like i said the easiest way for us to onboard homes was one home owner referring to another correct ha kyunki hum dusre wale ke paas pehle kitne baar bhi chale jaye wo bolta tha bhai nahi karna hai ha lekin jaise hi wo apne dost se sunega ki you know wo 2 lakh rupaye mera bahana ka bachta hai ha and usko lagta hai agar main bhar raha hu to fir uski bahut ho jati so that is the best way to activate them correct But post COVID, interestingly, what happened is that people started staying and working from anywhere, hmm. and the need for these homes also increased. started increasing. So a lot of people realized that they wanted some more open spaces, and a uh, lot of people started buying a lot of homes. And hmm. right now, the development which is happening in all of these leisure destinations, Goa, Lonavala, Alibag, Kasoli, is maddening. So how many homes people have bought in last? Two years would be equivalent to last fifteen years over there. So, and all of these homes right now have been bought from a perspective that okay, most of these guys were re- had rented homes hmm. during these last two years, and the aspiration to buy a home Correct. came from there, and they truly believe that these are more rental first homes. Correct. And they we've been involved in the conversation right from start, hmm. right from buying Buy. of the property to designing of the home. 
So we've added an arm to our business, which is designing homes. Correct. Oh wow. <laughs> so and uh, we've we started engaging a lot of real estate developers. Yeah. So real estate developers have started tying up with us so that they can provide an opportunity to people to uh, monetize the asset. Yeah. So these have been last two three changes which has happened. Plus you have a lot of insights also. Like if Goa me agar apko construction koi property bana, so you know ki wahan par kitna rental kama sakte ho, to amount Correct. of money you should spend on building it. Correct. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, so Goa me asa gaon mein apko kya rent milega will be very different. Than Correct. Morjin me kya milega, West is very different than Moira me kya milega. Correct. Uh, North Goa and South Goa are two different, two different cities all together. Correct. Uh, so uh, so insights because of last two three years is something which we are, or we've been there for the last five years now uh, in this domain of homes. So uh, I think we have insights primarily across most leisure market. Mm. So uh, in terms of, but the economics largely they've been the same. For us it is like um, 100 to 120 nights in a year on a bare minimum we should be doing. Wow. And we should be able to do about 30 lakh rupees of overall business. What if property. Yeah, if any property cuts that and if we feel that that can happen, mm. then we can put our money on that property. Correct. Uh, because for us to make economic sense, only then it makes economic sense. Yes, so out of the 30 lakh rupees, only 25% comes to us. Mm. And we need to manage all our costs in that 25%. Correct. Uh, got it. And it's also, because it's an Indian market, India is always considered to be a price sensitive, value yeah. conscious market. Uh, so, and you have been in the part of luxury rentals and that has increased. Tell us what's been your insight of the overall uh, luxury homestays market in India. What are people looking for rental wise? How many days rent ho hai? Uh, what kind of customers you get? There are a lot of challenges over there. Yeah. So tell us about how the industry has evolved. Yeah, and the sentiments are uh, see, there's definitely a premiumization concept, correct? Um, especially in the hospital domain. Um, they forget pre COVID, post COVID hotels. Even are ho- hotels ke rent, which I was hearing from someone, ke has doubled hmm. pre COVID and post COVID and doubled and it will stay there. That's what uh, re- I think we were, we were undervalued. Earlier, uh, there is maybe the right, we are reaching to the right value. Correct. If you see any of the developed markets, like you're seeing Western part of the world, New York and uh, Paris and Rome of the world, they, if the price point which were there in those markets versus what was, what is there mm-hmm. in India was highly undervalued after uh, doing their price parity okay. of sort. So I think there's some sort of a catch up which has happened in the last uh, few years. Mm-hmm. And uh, as the economy grows, uh, we've seen, and very, very interesting to see in China, last 30 years, the uh, maybe the economy grew for them, I don't know, maybe 20x, 30x, but the spend, expenditure on travel grew almost 100, and, 100 to 200x. Mm. So as and more the economy keeps no. growing, the uh, ability to do spend and power is, is becoming much higher. Got it. Okay. But, uh, you were asking about price, price sensitivity of Indian customers. See, the inside is that Indians are very price sensitive across all price points. Oh. Take a, so, you uh, discount see. So, if you want to do it is more like, you know what, just to give me respect, you should give me some discount. Uh-huh. So, that is also a concept. If you want to keep your mind, you discount. Do. <laughs> so, uh, so, that is always there. So, it is... Uh, you know what, it is very difficult, the market we build is the market mechanism is very difficult to sell something at a base price on MRP of sort. If you have a discount or something, even it's maybe notional correct. Uh, over there, that is there. But at the same time, I think the insight is also that you know what, people are ready to pay for good value, value milne chahiye. So they will pay for that. There is a difference between a branded play and an unbranded play. Correct. Uh. So in our domain, and it's the best way to classify. So there are a lot of lot of players who started, and uh, there've been people who've cheated uh, in terms of taking money, not provided. There's a lot of uh, false uh, promises which has been made, mm. uh, deceptive pictures, correct shown, uh, and what? And these are all domain maturity ki mm. uh. So people are ready to pay that premium. For. To work with a or stay with a brand mm-hmm. and ensure that you know what they get that quality mm-hmm. of service. You know what you are assured that there will be someone who will be catering to your palate. We have a group of when a group goes, we have anywhere of children, anywhere infants, so the, uh, uh, zero to five years, right. and senior citizens or number of years. So someone wants a spicy food, someone wants no oil. So we uh, cater to all their needs. Okay. So uh, those are kind of 
aspects which you touch upon and everyone is more looking for experience correct so best way for you to bundle it is like experience provide QG हम अकोमोडेशन नहीं प्रोवाइड कर रहे आपको सो वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू एन एक्सपीरियंस एक्सपीरियंस सो हाउ वी से इज एवरी स्टे इज एन इवेंट फॉर अस दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई एट टू टेन पीपल हैव कम टुगेदर सो आठ दस लोग आए तो कोई पर्टिकुलर रीजन से आए इट कैन बी फॉर सेलिब्रेटिंग सम माइल स्टोन वी सेलिब्रेटेड फर्स्ट बर्थडे ऑफ फोक्स एंड हंड्रेड बर्थडे ऑफ फोक्स और इट कैन बी फॉर री यूनियन वैन पीपल हैव कम टूगेदर करेक्ट वी हैव लॉट ऑफ बैचलर्स बैचलरेट ऑल ऑफ दोज काइंड ऑफ Uh, we provide our properties for weddings, mm. um, baby showers, pre-weddings. We have corporates who will have the AGMs at a property, right? So um, different use cases have evolved mm. over the period of time. But mm. the lens which we apply is that key every stage is an event, mm. and in an event typically you can you are able to provide that service and you are able to package it in a manner that it becomes a lot more than just a accommodation. Mm. And of course, everybody is ready to pay for a quality quality service. Yes, absolutely, I think people are ready to pay for quality. Hmm. Uh, ready to pay for something which they are assured of. Uh-huh. You know what? This yeah. Is what what's promised, then you get it. Uh, please, that's all. Exactly. Yeah. So, and where is the maximum demand you for your properties are coming from? Maximum in the sense demand wise, uh, is it north side Goa? Where's what's your learning over there? And what is the average ticket price which people are paying? Yeah. So, see where we play. Is about six to seven thousand per room per night mm. category. So if we take a three or four bedroom property, it is anywhere between twenty to thirty thousand yeah. rupees uh. on a accommodation level. Then uh. you add another layer of food and F and B side of it, another five to ten thousand rupees. So anywhere between about thirty to forty thousand rupees is a per night cost. Per night. So average people tend to stay in Maharashtra is about two nights, in Goa is about three nights, mm. and people travel a bit northern. Northern part of the country about four nights. Okay, so um, it's about thirty to forty thousand rupees into hmm. two or three or four is something which you uh, typically do. Um, how we are situated is we are across most of the leisure destinations. Hmm. So and it is a distance travel distance of two to four hours from any of these cities. Okay. So our major hubs are Bombay, Pune, hmm. um, Goa is across the country from to Goa. Hmm. Then you have uh, metros Delhi, uh, Kolkata, and uh, Chennai. So in and around these markets, we have about two to four hours distance distance per people there. And then we have second tier metros, yeah. Ahmedabad or yeah, then Jaipur or yeah. um, so people tend to travel from these markets also. Go. So Pranav, I've always heard about Stay Vista either through my colleagues or my friends, uh, and like I'm. Seen ads, but right now, but in 2018, 17, 18, I was always hearing about uh, through the word of mouth marketing. So, what's been your marketing strategy, uh, right? Yeah, so, I think again transition from hotel to homes. I think when we were building out, I think we were very, we were very, very clear that we want to build it sustainably. Uh-huh. So, uh, even hotels piece of it, we were trying to build it very sustainably. Hence, I'm building it by us. But when homes were there, we want to build it sustainably and. Uh, Best aspect about this is that ki there's a very strong word of mouth. Uh-huh. So, like I said, a event day, ten log aaye. Aapke each of those ten are your influencers. Correct. They talk to ten more people, and any more time you are reaching out to hundred folks. Correct. If it's a positive, it gets amplified ten times. Uh-huh. If it is a negative, it gets amplified hundred times. ठीक है आप ये assume कर सकते. Fortunately for us, we we've got more positives than negatives. Uh, And this is we're lucky that you know what our guests are our potential owners, mm. our potent our guests have been our potential investors, Correct. and most importantly our guests have been our potential leaders of the organization. Okay. So our senior management team, we would have they were earlier our guests okay. who've come through and become leaders. Wow. So almost eighty percent of our business comes direct. Yes. It is primarily through our word of mouth mm. and knowing about it. 2018, 2019. In fact, we were almost we were breaking even mm. profitable as an organization. Uh, so definitely, we had limited avenues from marketing perspective. Mm. We raised our um, VC round in 2020, and then COVID struck. Yeah. But the DNA was always to build it sustainably, and I think this segment like this can be built only this way. Yeah. You how much ever money you uh, want to throw at it, up up. कि इंक्रीमेंटल रेवेन्यू जो है नहीं वो आपके नहीं है व्हेन पीपल वांट टू बुक समथिंग फॉर योर फैमिली एंड 
imagine you want to ensure that a person who is booking it is booking on behalf of the entire group hmm. that person needs to be sent person sure what that yeah. person is getting into uh-huh. so you want to talk to someone it's a high value purchase as a high intent purchase right? uh-huh. you want to talk to someone you want to know about brought more about it you want to read reviews uh-huh. you want to get into details you like to speak to someone by in the team ye hai to sahi sensible ka nahi hai na aapne suna hai na correct and people want to go to places where other people have had good experiences hmm so yeah when like i guess said 80% of our guests comes through word of mouth almost 60% of our owners are coming through word of mouth so correct. existing owners will give referral to other owners hmm. so we save money in our acquisition costs our customer acquisition costs are fairly low And then it's rather very low. And plus, the same customers are the repeat customers. Yeah, so almost they want to try different properties. Yeah, almost I think uh, two or three times people travel in a year. Huh. And I can assure you, once someone travels in a group and experiences a home, hmm. it can be through us or it can be through anyone else. Um, more often than not, people have good experiences. They will never go back to a hotel. Huh. Because once you've seen that privacy and comfort. and customization mm, yeah. and hotel can never come yeah. close to it you know one use it so right now every big hotel uh, or branded hotel chain uh, will want to have a pie mm, all this one just as a market because everyone realizes that this is where the shift is happening this is also experiential mm. so this is where you know what you can definitely increase your offering correct so as you <laughs> mentioned that you also have a partnership with marriott yes. uh, tell us about that uh, how did that came into play so actually we are an exclusive we have exclusive partnership with club mahindra uh-huh. and um, marriott has something called as homes and villas as a mm. platform okay. so they have about a lack of homes across the world oh okay. and the only way they work is that they curate partners uh-huh. uh, they do not work with individual homes oh, okay. so they work okay. only with curated partners mm. So I think we are amongst the only two partners in the country today with whom Marriott has partnered. Okay. Uh, with so they've audited each of our homes, and after it passed that quality check, yeah. um, based on both of our consent, yeah. is something that home goes live on Marriott as a platform. Okay. So I can Marriott member, you can use your Bonvoy points yeah. to book any of stay with the properties. Got it. So so now uh what have been your favorite moments of serving customer I I saw one of your LinkedIn posts also where Vijay uh sorry Vijay Devrakonda was uh, yeah. in one of your property with the fans tell us about that and also one favorite and what's been the challenges like because again customers if it's a uh direct to cu- cu- customer then there'll be a lot of challenges yeah. also yeah Oh so we hosted Vijay I think he does some fantastic work every year he uh takes 100 of his fan fans uh most of them come from very humble backgrounds mm-hmm. and um, they do a getaway uh, so we were lucky to host him in uh, northern part of the country in manali oh. so they rented out about six or seven homes wow. and we curated the entire stay wow. over there so it is like actually hosting 100 people together and which was very very uh thankful for doing something like this and yeah. we love partnering Correct. And with him on that, and what all of this, we've been fortunate to do host Dhoni, uh, Shuray Kumar Yadav, a um, lot of A-listers in Bollywood. Mm. Uh, many of them want to stay away. Correct. From from the side of it, but honestly, nothing changes for us. Uh, mm. How any of these guys we are hosting, uh, our hosting standard remains the same for any of our other guests. Mm. So our checks remain the same. We have a concept of something for us. a five star six star and a seven star a seven star is something where someone actually shouts out on a social media platform that they had a fantastic stay and gives us a five star and takes the name of an individual hmm. on the platform to say that you know I had a fantastic stay with gufran huh. over there so they need to take someone's name huh. that is a seven star review first i think we build these processes over the period of time like which is incentivize our both on ground and mm-hmm. uh, in office teams so i think that is where it has really helped us um some good few moments i think i was sharing earlier you know we've been fortunate to do be part of some milestone events mm-hmm. during covid i remember someone called us you know what and he told us that you know what i have not taken my grandmom mm-hmm. uh, for last 
18 months anywhere and they were fortunate to come to our villa mm. and uh, and those were some very key beautiful moments which they spent with right. uh, as a family and it was his grandmom some 90th or 91st birthday oh, okay uh, so these are the moments which we've been able to unlock for people you know what we had people flowing from different parts of the world mm. and at the end of the day what people take back is memories from the okay. stays the yeah. two day stays and we make it very customized so you have someone who will come and sing for you we have masoos wow uh, we have bonfires uh, we create some treasure hunt uh, someone will come and make you play games we will do some uh, experiential session like trails pottery all of those okay things do go south uh, at times yeah. um whatever could have gone wrong has gone wrong with us for last 5 years so we had uh, a set of folks who have not been uh, very good mm. so house rules have been not been followed we had cops coming at our property where someone else uh, has complained and become the nuisance yeah. to someone else mm. uh property that many times are not homes are not very well respected mm. i don't know why does this happen but it does happens one out of 15 or 20 stays we'll have some problem where you know what there's been some damage mm. or someone has um, you know what as indians a lot of times even in five stars and you see correct people tend to uh, misuse mm. as and these are homes i don't understand everyone is as very attached build some mm. very very fast there mm. so log towers se apne jute saaf karenge um mm. and what people will not be if you know that you know what this house doesn't allow smoking inside mm. the property people will smoke in the living areas and we've had things which have gone fairly down the south also you know what we people are not stuck to rules mm. you know we've had incidents where someone have hurt themselves mm. uh, you know what we have first aid always available correct uh, we rushed folks to a hospital also but i'm sure this is part and parcel of any hospitality correct uh, but uh, honestly a lot of learning for us and these are the situations where but success are learning hoti and the best relation we make correct and uh, you know what with all honesty there a lot of time where uh, service has also been a challenge see at the end of the day everything is based on people uh oh. so um, a guest has been asking for something and there are time when we miss out uh oh. um there are time when the pool is not ready at time you know what these are home because of some excessive leakage a wall has developed dampness mm. water pressure is not, not the same you will be you know what electricity outage during the sai cyclone in aliba we do not have electricity for 3 days continuous wo generator hai but wo generator bhi um, i think about 18 hours after that that also required about 6 hours of break uh-huh. so these are some external situation line slides right now in northern part of the country covid was such a big situation wherein you know we receive only cancellation for next one month hmm okay so these are areas where uh, i think indians as travelers and guests i think one of the most demanding and most of one of the most loving i think dono we hum pyar bhi bahut karte hain lekin we if we paid for something we just want to, we want to ensure that we get everything, get everything. penny out of it got it okay so my uh, next question is uh, i was looking at your team size also like a full jam packed office how how is your growth in the team wise and what do you ensure because building a strong team is one of the most important part of any business yeah how have you ensured building a great team which sticks around with you guys yeah so i will share with you i think the first is that uh, in our guests we look at our team members um, i think so i am could you not i think almost out of 15 20 top leaders i think there are two or three of them who have been our guests i think that gives a lot of validation to the hmm. product and they reached out to us another i uh, think one advice which we got fairly early uh, was that we try to recruit folks who are better than us now mm. uh, and we then try to do something which not a lot of people advise is but we try to involve them and become family mm. so uh, we try to criss cross our day to day life uh, with our team members uh, and be part of their milestone events and invite them to ours yeah. so if you come to our office during lunch time and dinners you will see that how people school mein jaise 
हाँ शेयर करते हैं टिफिन वगैरह दैट इज़ हाउ पीपल हैव लंच एंड वी ट्राई टू बॉन्ड दैट वे सो वी फॉर्चुनेटली फॉर अर्स विलाज एंड इज समथिंग विच इज एज अ प्रोडक्ट वी डू स्पेंड सम टाइम टूगेदर ड्यूरिंग दीज ऑफ साइट बट द प्राइवेट इज आइडिया इज दैट की वी कम टूगेदर एंड वी वॉन्ट बी इट्स अ कॉन्शियस एफर्ट टू बिकम अ फैमिली थे सो वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड वेज टू बॉन्ड ट्राई टू फाइंड वेज टू बी फॉर मीच अदर Uh, if someone is going through a tough time, someone maybe you know what someone who's there with us, she just delivered. So we want to ensure that uh-huh. we are there with her uh, during that period as well as after that. Yeah, we want to invite the family to office. Hmm. Uh, we have something called a children's day in our office, wherein it's like the entire office become more like a um, carnival uh-huh. of sort. Actually, a carnival. I mean, you have a magician, you have a um artist you have a tattoo guy you mm-hmm. have some games so there is some conscious effort to bring that family vibe to it correct uh, it goes against saying that you should not mix your family and this but i think for us we differ with that i think what we what we been able to do is that we bring together the family piece of it and we also want to ensure that in what we promise to folks is that in next 5 years we want to ensure at least 100 uh people in our prop organization we should be able to help them to own a property of theirs so then which they can give to save star <laughs> and so it becomes a reverse engineering <laughs> so we are creating that wealth uh, or trying to create that wealth for people correct but now through e shops and mm-hmm. stock options and uh, compensation structures um so that is something which we promise to folks that you know in next 5 years we want to ensure minimum 100 properties from our captive hone chahiye you know which comes to folks from your that's uh, uh something very great uh sharing wealth also as well as making sure everybody yeah uh is working at their best uh, in the company so uh, uh, what's the number like like total uh, size of team uh, i know we are almost 350 people 355 or um majority of folks are on the ground and in charge of the regions uh uh-huh. um these are focusing towards managing rooms and managing guests um today we manage about 630 odd property of city which got it got so coming to the next question uh because you also have uh, raised money external capital uh when whenever anybody is starting up everybody has a question whether they should raise money or not and when to raise how much to raise and whom to raise from how you have answered those questions right uh on, honestly i think uh, see when we raised capital when we started um we were guided by we had some mentor ha huh. uh, sadad was one of them sadad and family are very active angel investors so we are very lucky to have him as a mentor to start off with but the first round when we raised i think after that it was very clear to us that you need to build a sustainable yeah. business and you need to get to your product market fit as soon as possible yeah. um and you need to be in a place where if tomorrow capital is not available you are self sustainable yeah. so you cannot rely on external capital forever yeah. and that is something which we understood or or what we were made to understand very uh very initially in our journey and maybe somewhere with the liberty of not having a lot of capital yeah. uh, also helped us yeah. and third i would say as dna all three of us come from backgrounds where even if you give us tomorrow you know 100 crores and you say go conquer the entire universe um i don't think he we believe that this is the right way for us to build this segment out yeah. so i uh, the way we chose to raise capital was first with like minded folks mm mm-hmm. um because we were very clear that this can be it can be you know what 2x 3x in 2 3 years time it cannot be 10x correct in a year yeah. time just a hospitality play if by throwing money your problem will not get solved yeah. so that automatically reduce many of the folks yeah. they're very fortunate to have dsg consumer partners in the first round mm-hmm. and even notable angels over there many of our homeowners invested in us so uh, that is very very encouraging as a community but uh, the mindset these folks come from they really helped us to build that i think it was a very similar mindset uh, then the next round last round which we raised was from dsg consumer partners and capri global so a similar mindset you know what they are in this for long 
we are in this for good and we are in this to build a sustainable side of it. It is not that in the next two years we have so many returns. So we are not chasing any number. Patience. It is more like it will be built brick by brick. It is an experiential play. There, is, there are inflection points which come up hmm. and we will make use of those. Uh, but we are in no hurry. Uh, we are in this to play a long term game. This is what we want to do for our life. Correct. Better. I think. Huh. And patiently build a business. Huh. Yeah. Got it. So last question before we move to the lightning round. Uh, what advice you would give to the entrepreneurs who are trying to build something in the hospitality space? What uh, three things or any uh, things you sh- they should consider? Yeah, honestly, na, first of all, entrepreneurs, I feel um, there's a big uh, mystery about the intra- entrepreneur side of it and everyone wants to become an entrepreneur today. Yeah. Which is good also. Uh, somewhere, I, my thesis I've been is entrepreneurship is a, a hobby of rich mm. or hobby of privilege. Mm. You know what, some things need to be, you need to have a very, su- very strong support system mm. for you to do something wherein you know that there is no path towards success for a foreseeable mm. future. Correct. So that is the first uh, piece of it. Now, uh, on the hospitality side of it, I think we've got enough learnings in last five or six years. And you know what? The biggest learning is throwing money at a problem is not going to solve for experience. Yeah. So experience has to be built. It has to be cultivated. Fortunately, we are in that domain now, but you know what, it is going to be service oriented, it is going to be people driven mm. to some nature form. AI and others will have a very limited role to play. Mm. To understand emotions, to cook huh. nice food, to serve to uh, serve with a smile and to go uh, a mile ahead uh, in terms of delighting the guest is, I don't think AI can solve for it. Correct. Okay. Very fortunate to be in this domain which you are, it is AI proof. Is something which I don't think many domains are now correct. Um, so there is no alternative to in terms of throwing money is not going to solve the problem. Uh, you have to be patient. In, in my view, in hospitality uh, industry, you have to have to be patient, uh, and you need to get your economics right on a unit level. Correct. So it needs to be on a per property level for us. On a per property level, on a region level, uh, how do you get your economics right? Correct. So you build your economics and basis that your business model needs to be aligned with your economics. So it can't happen that okay at this scale is something when I will start making money mm. or things will start going positive for me. Right. Uh, so I think these were our three learnings in terms of we were very fortunate. Um, throwing money does not solve it, and uh, be patient. In terms of we just need to be patient. And God, understood. So okay, Pranav, uh, we are moving to the lightning round where I yeah. ask you questions. Whatever comes to your mind, you just have to say. Uh, first question, how does Pranav like to spend his leisure time? Oh, so I am a big Bollywood buff. So right now you have Jawan uh-huh. as released. So I think day after I am watching that. There's, I think like 5-6 movies, good movies have yeah. come. So you have watched everything. Although uh, mostly I tend to cover, there wouldn't be any movie which I would have watched. So, uh-huh. so for me all movies are good. Uh-huh. There is nothing like a bad movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got it. Uh, your favorite stay vista property? So, uh, favorite property, obviously, the first few homes are very, very close to the heart. Hmm. Um, so, one of them is featured in Netflix, which is called Pashan. Okay. Uh, there's a, net, a series on Netflix called World's Most Extraordinary Homes. Hmm. The first home in that series is Pashan. I'll check. So it. That is a, a very nice property, very beautiful and close to the heart. Uh, the second one, I would say one more if I can have a choice. There's a home uh, in the northern part of the country called Mansion. Mm. And it's a very beautiful home. Uh, it has a very beautiful English colonial style to it. And um, the owner takes so much care of the guests. You can't imagine. So owner stays there? The, like Owner stays close by. Okay. But is very, very passionate about hosting. Hosting. Got it. I'll, let's check it out also. Most expensive stay with the property? We recently launched a property very close to Bombay uh, called Colossus, which is in Kapoli. Uh-huh. It's a nine bedroom property. A billion and two and a half acre land it's a heated pool a jacuzzi a private theater um so it's priced about about two and a half lakh rupees a night oh wow um but it's fully loaded hmm. what is the best advice you have ever received uh to recruit folks who are better than you 
and uh, I think the only limited resource which you have in life is time. So make the best to use of best use of time. One job you're terrible at. Appreciating enough. <laughs> I think I think we all can do a lot more by the same time you. appreciating folks and just being grateful to them. Uh, if not stay with the where would Pranav be? So I, I was a consultant. I, th- I thought I was good. I used to like traveling a lot or something related to Bollywood. I am sure I'm in that direction. Got it. So, last question which I ask to all the guests uh, what is success for you? Yeah, so, it keeps changing. Let me be honest. Every two years, maybe we redefine that success. Uh, earlier, maybe you know, success was reaching a particular success was just reaching to profitability for mm-hmm. so business. Ke liye. Um, maybe after we were successful reaching a particular set of homes. Uh, right now, I think uh, where I am right now, for me at this moment in time, success uh, just means if we can make some concrete difference uh, to the communities which we are part of. We are trying to, we have a mission internally of creating a lack of jobs. Hmm. Uh, today we have about six, seven thousand uh, jobs which we would have created indirectly or directly. Uh, so the idea is how can we make impact to a lack of folks. So that is one big internal mission which we have taken for ourselves. Um, and if we are able to move forward and be even closer to that, I think that will be good success for us. Wow, that's that's very different and that's very great. Uh, thank you, Pranav, uh, so much for coming on the show and helping us understand how luxury home rental market is working. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Pleasure is all mine. And we look forward to host you. Yeah, sure. Yes, definitely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.